This is me as a Minecraft character. Same photo, but now I'm a Pixar character, Studio Ghibli, Renaissance painting, comic book, manga, or even Lego style. As a designer, I saw all of these over Instagram and Twitter, and yeah, I had to try it. I figured it was just a trend, but after a few hours of testing, I'm honestly shocked. This is way above and beyond the trend. You upload a reference or a sketch, type in what you want, and ChatGPT just builds it. So in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through exactly how to use it, what it can do, and how it fits into a real design process. Let's get started. First, open ChatGPT. At the top, check that you're using ChatGPT 4. That's the latest model and the one that supports image generation and editing. If you're on GPT 3.5, you won't see the image icon. Just switch to GPT 4 before moving forward. Now a quick heads up, GPT 4 is a major leap forward as older models like DAL-E struggled with structured visuals, mid-journey and ideogram still glitch out with long words or layouts. This model fixes a lot of that, but because of how popular this feature became overnight, OpenAI had to start limiting access. The traffic surge was actually melting their GPUs, so if you're on the free plan, you might hit a cap fast. Even pro users get throttled during peak hours, just keep that in mind. Once you're on GPT-4, upload a photo. You can also drag and drop if that's easier. Once uploaded, it'll appear right above the prompt box. Now in the prompt box, just describe what you want visually. I'll start with a basic example. Turn this into a Pixar-style movie poster. Hit enter, wait a few seconds, and you'll see a reimagined version of the original image with styles, lighting, proportions, and atmosphere. Still the same layout, same subject, but in a whole new aesthetic. Now let's switch it up and make the prompt a little more specific. Let's try this prompt. Make this look like a Studio Ghibli scene with a peaceful forest background. Again, it generated the image just as I told it to. This isn't just a filter, it captures the tone and cinematic vibe of that style. You could use this as a storyboard frame or concept reference. Try anything. Voxel art, Van Vogue, Comic book inking, cyberpunk neon, it nails almost all of them. But here's where it becomes more fun and actually useful for designers. This isn't just about art styles. It actually understands layout and design structure. Let me show you a real use case. I'll type, make this into an Instagram ad with a bold headline at the top that says new drop and a button at the bottom that says shop now. It generates a clear ad layout with a clear structure and usable text. The spellings are perfect. This is where GPT-4 really separates itself from other tools. Making changes is also very easy. Just type add sunglasses on the face, change the background to a night sky on the beach, and make the button say learn more. Each time, it updates the image without breaking the design. This iterative feedback loop is gold for design workflows. No layers, no files, no switching tools. You're just talking to a smart assistant. Let's try a product mock-up. I'll upload a photo of a cold brew bottle. Say, make this product ad with a clean white background, centered product, and bold heading that says cold brew energy. In seconds, it gives me a polished layout that looks good enough to pitch. The text works, the spacing makes sense, and this is a full concept ready for iteration. Let's do one more. Design a restaurant menu with five Italian dishes, including names, prices, and short descriptions. Make it modern and visually balanced. And here it is. The text is readable, the layout is solid, it's a usable menu draft that you can export, refine, or recreate in Figma or Canva if you need to. You can keep experimenting, but this is only version 1, and it's already doing work that would have taken hours in other tools. There are limits if you ask for something ultra-complex, like a periodic table or a data-heavy infographic. It might struggle with accuracy or spacing. If you've ever had a design idea stuck in your head but had no time to mock up or no bandwidth to do it from scratch, this fixes that. Upload your reference, type your idea, iterate through a few versions. That's it, see you in the next one. Click here if you want to 3x your site speed in just one minute. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Click here and I'll see you there.